bad looking. It could look better, but this is just a tutorial. Alright, now that we have that, we need to create more of our template. And one thing you need would be the the buttons for your website. Now we could come up here and copy and paste the box I made and then just edit it like this. Shrink it down a little bit. We'll see if how this is gonna look. I'm gonna show you how to create a uh, links for your website. Well, uh, so the first thing we're gonna do for the navigation, we're gonna go come down here to navigation tool and go into insert theme graphic. And as you can see, we got all sorts of cool stuff we can do. I'm gonna go into button one and select the button style that I want. In this case, it will be the computer one for now. Insert that in there, and I'm going to double click on it and put in home page or just home for the text. You can see you can click the preview to update it, change the area, or the, the font I just said with the uh, <laughs> what style it was, and the background color. In this case, will be a yellow. And the over color will be this other yellow. And then the text color will keep red to match the background. Now we're going to preview it and see what it looks like. There you go. There's a button under your website. Now to link it, I would right click and click on hyperlink. And it's pretty easy just to go to site page and have it as home. Open in the, the same window. If you want external links, you can hyperlink it to an internet page and type in the, uh, the right protocol up there. Or you can link it to a file if you want to... S well, I'll just show you how to do that real quick okay let's say I want to view a picture or download a picture on a website I would grab a button that I want in this case we'll just go something that doesn't need to be anything fancy and I'll just hyperlink it to a file now I'll browse for whatever file I want that to be in this case I think I'll go into Let's see. I'm not sure where I want to go here. Okay, we'll just skip that. We'll just go from something out of my documents. Like a logo or whatever. Open in a new window. Now, when I preview it, I don't know if I'll do it in preview or not. Yeah it'll open it up and preview in a different window. Now if you have a file like uh, an exe or something um, when you hyperlink it it will uh, download. Of course all you'd have to do is go and browse for that file and click on it whatever application you want uh, somebody to download then uh, when you upload it it'll be in the file that you export everything to so it'll you don't have to put it in any special folder or anything. Serif will do it for you. Now I'm going to copy this button since I'm going to be building a three-page website. That's the way I have that. And I can edit it. that and then of course you'd hyperlink it once you get the site paid, the site made but we're still right now we're still working working on the uh, the template all right now we're gonna put in a side menu or a uh, side table in order to do that I'm going to take this other table I made and paste it 
resize it. This way I don't got to do any of the visual stuff again. Insert it there. Alright, now for the text. I'm going to type in video. I'm going to show you how to embed a video into your website. You can also make this instant 3D if you want as well. I'm not going to worry about that since I already showed you how to do it. I do need to underline that though. Alright. What you need to do to embed a YouTube video is come over here to uh, Web Media Tools and come over here to the Embed YouTube Video. What you do is you go to whatever YouTube video that you want to embed and in this case you can either right click and copy the embed code over here or the URL either one and I'll just right click and paste it in there I can insert it into the website I'll shrink it to fit it in here alright now I'm going to show you what this will look like here in a minute. First I'm going to name the video. Something simple. I'm not going to give the actual name. Take too long to type it in. Alright, now I'm going to preview that. I'll take a second to load. If it'll load. Ah, my inter con internet connection timed out. Let me reload it then. Okay, it may be that I have to export it to a folder first. But okay, right now that's sort of a side menu we have going there. You can another uh, thing you could do is create a a box around that to sort of make a. I don't know. Anyways, I'll get to that in a different tutorial. Alright, now we're going to add another one here. Or let, let's, let's do this. Let's say you want to insert a picture. Let's find a, a good picture here. Desktop. Aha. Here we go funny hamster and let's say this hamster might be your pet or whatever you can insert something like this um, make it red and make it instant 3d or 3d effects or we can just go instant 3d Now that we have that, I'm going to arrange this, bring it to front, shrink your picture in there, or whatever, you know, whatever you want to do with that. Okay, that's basically a uh, pretty simple page layout. You can also, uh, you can put in a, um, insert HTML code if you have like a, uh, something from Google, uh, Google AdSense for your ads and you would just paste a body, click OK and it have it in there uh, wherever you want it on the site uh, I won't show you how to do that because you know obviously I'm not going to give away any of my codes or anything um, you can also put in RSS feeds which I don't have so I'm not going to um, you can also embed your own video files and video clips I'd put it as an icon I'd browse for whatever video I want to put in and I would put it in the site and then when you preview it